Hello and welcome to this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really do hope you enjoy. Some really, really sad news and, and, and worrying news has come out recently from Cardiff City. So they signed Emiliano Sala yesterday and he travelled back um, to watch his side uh, nonce play. Um, well, not watch him play, but he, he went and said goodbye, which is, which is a very, very, very nice thing to do. And he was travelling back last night. Now, around 8.30, there was a, um, a story saying that uh, there was a plane gone missing and that now the plane had been, um, they didn't know where it was, basically. Um, so they sent out a couple of search teams and they searched from 8 in, uh, in the evening to around 2 a.m. Um, so so they, they searched for a long time. Around 2 a.m., the search was called off due to... Uh, issues, you know, obviously bad light, very, very foggy, uh, and, and, and things. We've had a lot of fog recently. So, and then it resumed at 8 a.m. this morning. They have still no word on if they have found him. Um, so he started off from uh, Nantes, and then and then around Alderney, um, which is around the Guernsey area, um, just before France, um, that's when apparently they lost sight of where this plane was heading. At the moment, what is known is there's only two people meant to be on board. Uh, Salah himself, obviously, and also the pilot. Um, there's room for five people, but apparently there's only two people on there, which is which is, which is is interesting. Um, so as I say, the search was terminated. They've been looking for around eight to ten hours now. And it's, it is really, really concerning, really concerning. Um, he was meant to be at training this morning, and he has... Uh, obviously not arrived as you would expect. Um, he flew back to say uh, goodbye and sort out his personal affairs and things. And then he he posted uh, yesterday saying um, goodbye uh, to his teammates. And that is the last thing he posted on Twitter. He was expected back Monday, uh, so last night, but obviously he hasn't come yet. And they're just carrying on as normal. It's it's a worrying situation. The fact is, the plane's gone. Nobody seems to know where it is, and no sight nor sound of, of, of Salah has been heard, which is very, very, very concerning. Now, they were due to play uh, his former team in the Copa uh, de France, the uh, French Cup, uh, on Wednesday, so tomorrow evening, but that one has been postponed, and there's talks of the game postponed um, on Saturday as well. He cost eighteen million pounds, which is a club record fee, and he has scored a lot of goals in the French league. And uh, yeah, I, I think he'd have done very, very well. But there's just no word on anything at the moment. So I, I thought I'd give you a little, a little bit of an update. Um, really, really concerning. I hope everything is fine, um, and, and there's just been some sort of misunderstanding. Uh, and he's not been able to get on his phone or something. Um, hopefully, that's all it is. Um, but it is really concerning. They're still looking, the Guernsey police are still looking for the craft. Um, <clears throat> Cardiff Chairman uh, Mem Mehmet uh, Dalman, he's come out and said, we are awaiting confirmation before we can say anything further. We are very concerned about the safety of Emiliano Sala. Now, I will be updating this video further down the line. Uh, if there is any news whatsoever, I will cover it on the channel. Um, so this is the statement that Guernsey Police said. Guernsey Coast Guard received an alert at uh, 20, past, uh, 20 past 8 in the evening that a light aircraft had gone off their radar approximately 15 miles north of Guernsey, indicating a major search and re rescue operation involving the St. Peter Port and Alderney lifeboats. Um, uh, Air Search 1 and 2 um, HM Coast Guard helicopters are also involved in the search. So there's helicopters, there was drones. Um, so a lot of things trying to look for the craft that has seemed to have uh, disappeared. It's, it is very, very concerning the fact nobody's heard of him. Um, very concerning. Uh, he, 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 he could be injured um, somewhere and can't use his phone or his phone could be anywhere at this point it could have anything anything could have happened um hopefully we have some positive news uh soon but this coming so soon after the uh vichai shirahad anaprava uh, i think i don't think that's right but uh vichai he obviously so soon after that um is really 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 worrying 
really worrying. I really, really hope there's just a simple explanation to what has happened. Um, there's, they said there's been no trace of the aircraft, so not even a, a, a trace of the aircraft, which I guess means it's still in one piece, which that could mean good or bad things, I suppose. Uh, but it's really, really worrying news. Um, so yeah, if there is any more news on this update, I will make another video. But thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, thoughts are with everyone. I hope everyone is safe. Um, and, this, and, uh, and if there is any more news, I will uh, let you know. But thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, yeah, the, the background's back. Sorry, it's a bit of a mess, but I, I much prefer it. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. My name is Mike, and I will see you soon.